Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Now, we are at the main menu because I want to discuss a little bit of a, a sad tale. Uh, it's not too sad, it's not going to affect us too much, but those who follow me on Twitter already know the long and short of it. For those who do not, why don't you? Uh, no, don't worry. Um, unfortunately, I have to start the game again. Now, that gives me an opportunity to do one thing that a lot of people ask for, and that is click on the leaves. There we go. Look, little forest spirits. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Ah, uh, good times. Good times to balance the bad ones. Now, unfortunately, early in the day, Tally, that is one of my ferrets, managed to get up on my desk. And while she was in the process of trying to learn how to send out tweets on Twitter, managed to brush against my mixer. Now, I noticed her trying to send the messages on Twitter and stop that. Unfortunately, I did not notice that she had changed the settings on my mixer, managed to um, move one of the dials, and yeah... The fourth and fifth day, oh sorry, the third and fourth days on Fuzzy Ferret Farm were ear-splittingly loud. In the quiet times, it was just painfully loud. In the loud times, my voice distorted so much, it sounded like I was trying to talk to you through a toaster. So, I went ahead and I replayed up to the third of spring. Some things are a little bit different because some things are just random, like the things that I found in the ground and that sort of stuff and who I managed to talk to. But for all intents and purposes, the farm is as it was. So we're going to be continuing with this playthrough and I just wanted to let you know why, for example, I've got an ancient doll instead of a starfish. Also, I managed to get two potato seeds. Right, fortune teller, hello. Welcome to Welwick's Oracle, the only show with the voice of the Spiritist Channel directly to you. The spirits are madly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. You know what the funny thing is? Day three and day four, they were really unhappy with me. I think the spirits were actually trying to tell me that, yeah, you're going to be stu stupid unlucky. I thought they meant in the game. No, they meant in real life. Oh, those cunning spirits. Teach me not to pay attention to them, won't it? Right, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Oh, that's interesting. Now, the funny thing is, is it rained on the third day in the first, um, in, in, um, the first go of, the, of this farm. And it rained on the third day in this one. However, on the fourth day, it was fine. It was sunny. So it is It is random. I also starting to wonder, maybe it is not quite as random. But I did manage to get potato seeds on the second day. However, since I hadn't planted them by the third day, I thought, no, I'll, I'll preserve the, uh, the uh, game as much as I can and I'll plant them today. Which is effectively what I did in the other recording anyway. I just happened to have them with me. Um, okay, well, let's do a little bit more work around the farm, since we have the time. I don't need this, I will drop that off. I might not need all of these, but we'll see. I'll drop off the ancient doll as well. Do we have any more seeds? No, 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 da dum 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 No, we don't. We've also managed to pick up a gold ore as well. Okay, well, first things first, I'm just going to clear out these trees from around here, just to make a little tiny bit of room, and then we will crack on with the day. There we go. And anything else? I'll take you. Thank you. Now we have the same levels. That is, I've got level one in foraging, which is very, very nice. And we'll just get that out of the way. Unfortunately, I can't get that tree stump yet. I'm going to need an upgraded axe for that one, which means I need to gain access to the mine. However, interestingly, I realized that if I'd gone with the hilltop farm, that is the mining focus farm, I may well have been able to upgrade my tools much earlier because I would have been able to be mining ore like right from the get-go, which would have been interesting. Though, I'm not sure how quickly I would have been able to get the forge or the smeltery um, blueprint, so I'm not sure when I would have actually been able to turn that ore into bars, which I could then use, but oh well. Now, because it was raining today, that gave us a perfect opportunity to just clear out the farm a little bit. Uh, we'll get you as well. I can see there is a rock behind this. We'll grab that too. And you too. And there we go. We're, we're slowly making a bit of progress over here. Now, I will quickly give you a, a glance at the farm in the daytime this time. Ah, oh, Pilly Palas, I'm sorry I took away your home and it's raining as well. It's going to be really awkward for you to fly around. I am a scoundrel. I am sorry. Know that I am sorry. Uh, I was told by a few people in the uh, in my last playthrough that they, they really liked that I called them Pilly Palas. Even though I did that on accident the first time. It, it appears that quite a lot of people found it quite endearing that the, the name of Welsh is Pilly Pala. Um, there we 
we are. Ooh, that is a geode on the floor there. Fantabulous. I approve. And uh, let me get rid of you as well. And then we'll pretty much be out of stamina for the rest of the day, but uh, that's fine. There we go. And let's get all of that gone as well. Fantastic. Can I get through there? No? All right, then. Let's get rid of that. There we go. That's a bit better. I'll be back for you in a moment. All right. What? Oh, we've got mixed seeds. Fantastic. There we go. We've got a nice little plot of mixed seeds now. Excellent. Because we're going to need those uh, mixed items for the um, bundles. We will actually need the, the various forage. We've only got a daffodil and a leek at the moment, though. So we need... A couple of other things there. We've almost got enough um, wood to be able to... Oops, wrong place for these. We've almost got enough wood already for us to be able to set up the bridge. And I would like to get that done fairly quickly because I'll be able to make use of it. There we go, our first geode. How wonderful. You found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? Ah... Uh, Right, so, now we can properly see what we're doing. Let's wander around a little bit, shall we? So, apparently this is mostly where the monsters spawn. I'm wondering, though, is there any good fishing over here? Is there even a way over there? No, there isn't. I shouldn't have put my tools away! Whoever keeps telling me that I need to be more mindful with my inventory and put my tools away, you're a scallywag. You keep getting me in trouble. I can't move around. However, I should be able to uh, just slide on through here without too much trouble. You know what? Sure, let's let's see. What can I catch here? Ah, oh, that was a horrible cast. In fact, that was such a bad cast, I won't accept it. I was only mildly better, but... Oh, well. Let's see. Nope. That sound almost made me try to reel her in. But it was just a decoy. Yep, another decoy. Come on, game. <sighs> oh, there we are. Yay! You're coming with me. Now, 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 no. Oh, you're going down. Ha-ha! Perfect catch! What did I get? I got a sunfish. Oh, fantastic. I need one of those. That is actually really, really good. I need a sunfish for... Hmm. Where am I going? Where can I... Where is the way down? This farm is confusing me. I believe it is overgrown. Well, that is wretched. Okay, fine. I really need to go down there and just clear that place out so I can just at least get out of here. Also, another one of the, the differences with this particular farm, uh, quite a few people said, oh, it doesn't actually look any different, is you'll notice there's a cliff down on the, the south side. Ooh, wonderful. That's actually lovely. Oh, double lovely. I approve. Triple lovely. If you've got a gold star dandelion, that will be a really good gift for someone because now it matters. It really does matter to them what type of quality the gift is. Ah, all I really need now is an umbrella, I feel. I need an umbrella to walk around in the rain so that people don't give me odd looks. Because they will give you odd looks if you walk around without an umbrella in the rain. Trust me, I do it all the time and I get odd looks. Ah, closed on Wednesdays. Why did I even bother trying? I had exactly the same reaction of disappointment in the last recording that I couldn't use. Ah, my brain. It just doesn't work very well. You know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll head on over to visit Clint. We shall give him the geode, and then we'll go see Gunther. There'll be a couple of people in the library, I imagine. It's usually a good place to catch them on a rainy day such as this. And since I'm not very good friends with very many people, the other place they'll go is their home. So if it's someone like Elliot, whose home is uh, literally just one room, I won't be able to get in there. Okay, what did we get? We got Jagoite. Jagoite. I have no idea how you're meant to pronounce that. Hey, what do you need? Uh, actually, nothing. You've already uh, done everything I needed. Thank you. Take care, Clint. All right, let's go and see if there are very many people in here. Hello! Ooh. <sighs> Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something! Let me see it! I'm not holding it! How do you know? How can you see into my 
secret backpack that I don't actually have on into my pockets. Have I got it stuffed into my shirt, maybe? I'm not sure. Where am I keeping my tools? This is an important question. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but uh, it's yours. It does suck when other people have things you want, doesn't it, Gunther? Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. I feel that this is a reasonable arrangement. Yes, think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I'll... Yes, I, I imagine that we can work well together. Okay. Oh, there's actually not many people in here. Donate to the museum. I've got two items. I've got a mineral, which I will place there. Ooh, journal updated. And I've got an ancient doll, which I will place over there. There you go. Now my journal has been updated. Archaeology! Gunther asks if you've considered donating any new artifacts or minerals you find to the museum. He says he'll compensate you by way of occasional rare goods. Also, 250 gold! Just for you! Also, we've got a couple of books. Because one of the things I dug up um, whilst I was playing back up to day three was a book. This is a book by Marnie. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. They don't like being outside in the ring, though. Happy animals produce higher quality products. Okay, what about you? Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload or hasten crop growth. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear or else it may not grow properly. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons, for example corn. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with a scythe. Very well. All good advice. Hello. The raindrops are really loud on the metal roof of our trailer. I like that. It's soothing, though. See, we're in agreement. And it's nice for you to say something nice about your life, actually. I live in a trailer, which, you know, is terrible most of the time. But when it rains, it's awesome. See, that that's that's actually really cool. We just need to work on the on the bit that is so messy and I hate my life part. If we could just get that part, bit sorted and only leave you with the I live in a trailer and when it rains it's awesome. It would be amazing. Uh, anything else around here? No, not really. You know what? Since I'm here, let's go ahead and fish. I'll do. Nothing quite like fishing on a rainy day. Come on. Don't leave me hanging here. I, I was honestly drifting away. Oh, damn it. It appears this fishing thing is really, really relaxing. I'm not sure it would be as relaxing in real life, but maybe it would be. I'm not sure. I'm not much of a fisherman in real life. I have gone fishing a few times, but... A herring. Very well. Uh, do I need a herring? I don't think a herring is one of the things that I need for... Any of the bundles of spring, unfortunately. Oh, hey, Shane. I'll come over and have a chat with you in a second. Started to feel exhausted. Mm, that's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate, actually. I may just eat one of these fish in a moment. <sighs> this is where I find out that the longer that I'm fishing, the, the more energy I'm using up. Oh, damn it. It's very hard to get a perfect at the moment, but I'm going to keep trying, damn it. I'm certain I'm going to get it. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. Ha-ha! A sardine. Very well. Fairly certain that isn't one of the fish that I need either. I'm not sure if I need any of the... Uh... Uh, the ocean is best enjoyed alone, don't you think? <laughs> uh... I'm going to be a little bit awkward. Ocean is best enjoyed alone. Don't you think? Yeah, okay. I'll leave now. But uh, I don't think the sardine is one that I need that can specifically only be caught in spring. But I will have to double check. I'm probably going to have to dig through all of the old comments to find out. To find some of the advice that was left to me. Hello. Have you planted any spring crops yet? The season doesn't last forever, you know. Ah, uh, yes, I have. I planted all the crops that you left me. Thank you for that, by the way. Hmm. This is not good weather for sports. Of course it is. Oh, well, I can always lift weights inside. It's perfect weather for sports. My lord. If 
you just stop for because there's a bit of rain you'll never get anyway? When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think the roof might be leaking. In the old days, George would have scampered right on up and fixed it. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Evelyn. It's awful cold, isn't it? What a rotten day. I, I can't like it, actually, George. Sorry. Hey, Shane. Hmm. This weather makes me thirsty. Uh, I think most things make you thirsty, honestly, Shane. Uh, which is part of a problem, really. Uh, actually, let's pop in and see who's about. Welcome. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, Leah. What are you doing? Maybe I should cook something new and exciting today. Something spicy. Oh, I love spicy food. Um, hey, Pam. <sighs> hey, kid. You're too young to be moping around in a place like this. Some sage advice from Elder Pam. Never in the Calico Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. I wish I could have visited her today. I choose to believe that you just wanted to visit your friend and you, you, that you didn't want to get away from the rain. I choose to believe that you find the rain fun, just like I do. Hi there, Avak. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Thank you very much. Um, ooh, Harvey. Hello. I couldn't see you in your office earlier. Hi, Avak. Uh... Read anything in the interest in, in the library today? D did you see me go to the library? Have you been spying on me, Harvey? <laughs> well, uh, I'll see you around then. Hmm. Suspicious, Harvey. Ahoy there! It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. Well, you know what? I've got plenty of these, so you can have this, yeah? This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Where have I got... I've got a daffodil that I can give to... Emily, too. Thank you! I'm feeling a positive energy from this gift. Hooray! Everyone likes flowers. I would give you fish, but I strongly suspect you don't like them. Because you're just... Uh, you. Uh, uh, let's pop in here. Hello? Ooh, perfect timing, Haley. The one thing, the only thing I like about this town is the beach. I mean, the beach during the rain is quite nice. Sound of, of the lapping waves as the rain. Yeah, I don't think she's, she's probably going to buy that at all. I, I don't think she likes the rain. What do you say? 7.20pm already? My goodness! I, I didn't say that. I still have tons of work to do. Okay, just sends the help out. Make it into a game. Vincent would love it. Sam's probably too wise, unfortunately. But Sam's going to have to learn that he needs to pull his weight. Damn it. Sam probably already pulls his weight, to be fair to him. Assuming that he doesn't is a little bit unfair. In fact, it's a lot unfair. Bad havoc. Uh, let's go and find some things. However... It's reasonable to assume that he's not really helping his mother when he's in his room while she's running around panicking about getting all of the work done. Bad Sam. Uh, we will leave one for the forest spirits. Um, do I have enough energy? Yeah, I'd say I do. I probably don't, but we'll see. No. Yeah, uh... Okay, fair enough. Um, you know what? Sure. Thank you very much, forest spirits. They clearly realized that if I caught a fish, I would have kept it. But they're like, I know you want to fish more, Abba. And since you were so kind to leave us an offering, here you go. Have something that you won't feel bad about eating. I'm not going to be able to get my cast over there, I don't think. Maybe. I'll try it in a second. Come on. Come on, fish. Ah, oh, fish. Why? Oh, my lord. This, this is going to be hard. Oh, oh. Scallywags. I gave up a fishing spot for you. Uh, the forest spirits give and the forest spirits take away, it seems. Alright, well, it's time for me to get home. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to go up that way because I haven't got my tools with me. And, you know, my hoe simply won't cut down weeds no matter how much I wish it would. Alas. So, we will cut up through Jody's yard. I hope she doesn't mind. And all the way up and across. There we go. You know, I'm kind of in the market for a new window for my for my little cottage. Because that boarded up window. <laughs> yeah, not, not a fan. 
Um, I will uh, drop off a few of those, but not too many. I will then deposit all of these for now. Uh, I don't have any seeds. Do I? Mm, no, I need I need one more thing to be able to make the mixed seed bag. And the nice thing about the mixed seed bag, ah, is there's lots of them. Okay, yes, a couple of people in chat have been telling me, yeah, yeah, you, you get monsters whenever. There's there's no there's no hold on monsters just because you don't don't have a sword. The game isn't that nice. Uh, I was apparently being too too trusting. All right, twenty four gold for our little bit of forage there. Cockadoodle do indeed. Hmm, didn't it say it was going to be raining? Oh, sure it had. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of town. Where the river meets the ocean, you can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt, but you'll have to be there before I like, because he's a scallywag and will take most of them. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone else. Uh, oh, the spirits are in good humor today. Good times. All right. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm all right with that, honestly. I'm completely all right with that. Uh, should we do a little bit more? Yeah, we definitely do need to do a little bit more cutting. We need to make the area to the south more traversable. Otherwise, I'm going to have to keep avoiding trying to go down there because I know I'm not going to be able to get through, which is just not good enough. Not good enough in the slightest. There we go. Perfect. These then, and then my mixed seeds. Hopefully, we'll get plenty of the different seeds that I want, and I'll all be well. Okay, right. Better fill my my uh, watering can as well. Thinking about it, and you're coming with me, so are you. I don't actually need to cut through this particular tree to get down here, but I'm going to just so it's a little bit easier. There we go. Now, there's a little part of me that's wondering if maybe the monsters weren't getting up to me because it was just simply too difficult to navigate their path up there. So by cutting down these trees, I'm possibly going to be making it a little bit harder for me to get to my house for an evening. I'll have to see how that one goes, but uh, for the time being, I think it's still a better idea to do it. Get those. Let's chop this down. There we are. And... And again, by the way, I am probably going to be trying to uh, kind of create ordered chaos, I suppose. Have a little patch of wilderness in my farm. It just looks nice moving through. Let's get rid of all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, um, we'll chop up these little bits of wood, but uh, for the most part, I'm just going to go for the stones at this point, then. There we are. Just need to make a bit of a path. Oops. And over there as well. It's unfortunate that I picked up that coal, actually, because that's filled my inventory in a way that has meant that I can't pick everything up. So now when I come back down here, I'm going to have to pick up all of those rocks and carry them around with me. Oh, uh, well. It's not a terrible loss, I suppose, but a tad bit annoying. At least they stack. There we go. Off we go. So much easier to get around there now. Yeah. We'll make a little path through the uh, overgrown area and it'll look lovely, I tell you. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, do we have all... We do, actually. Okay, I'm going to take all of these. And let me make two field snacks. And the rest I'm going to plant. Uh, I need to decide on an area where I'm going to have a little orchard of trees. You know what? I think I'm going to decide on it right now. We'll have a couple of these trees around here, I think. There's one there. And we'll have that one down there. Little possible path. One there. One there. One there. And then a possible path. And then uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to dig that one out. I didn't really think of that one through quite as well as I should have. Um, actually, you know what? I probably don't need to be 
that meticulous about it, thinking about it. I could probably just do this. I would be fine. That one won't grow, though, for the time being. Drat, down and blast. I'll have to adjust this, because it's going to be a while before I can get an axe that's going to be able to cut that one, unfortunately. Uh, so all of these are going to just be that little bit closer, which does mean it might be a little bit harder for me to see if they've got... Um, actually, no, I could have them spaced by two. That'll make it a little bit easier. But ultimately, it's going to be difficult for me to see whether they're ready for me to harvest or not. Yeah, actually, I'll put four. Why not? Maybe even five. Double why not. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. We'll do that. So we'll have five in a row, and that'll be our little little starter orchard for now. I think getting that going early is probably quite worth it. I'll take out a daffodil with me, since I can give that to someone as a gift. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, so, actually, since we went to the effort of clearing up the way down here, why don't we go this way? But before I do, uh, you thought I'd forgotten. I had not, in fact, forgotten. I am not a scallywag today. There we are. And I've got a way of restoring a little bit of energy as well. Things are looking up. Right, let's head on down, collect up all these stones rather than waste them. And you can all come with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll go and uh, see if we can meet any of our neighbours around. Possibly just go and talk with Marnie and Jazz, maybe Shane as well. Hello, Marnie. Hi, need something? No, just chat. I might be getting some different kinds of animals in the future. Although, I'll need to make sure there's a market for them, so you'll have to prove your skill with animals first. Just keep treating your animals with respect and good things will happen. The good thing will be that my animals will be happy. Anything else is just a bonus. Well, there's no point in me trying to go. Ha 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 ha! I spotted you. Come on. Ah, oh, really? Come on. Come on, you can do it. I know you can. Come on. Oh, <laughs> my skill is too too little. I cannot quite get the cast out there. I think your skill affects it. Also, your rod, I believe. Bleh, how annoying. Oh, well, it didn't last that long anyway, so. Gotta keep my eyes open, though. I'm on there. I want a perfect. In this episode, I want at least one perfect. Come on. It's not going to be a perfect at this point. Because now I'm fairly certain a chub is required. I could be completely imagining that, but still. Come on, perfect. That's right. Ha! Perfect. Success. I am happy with this. Moving on. It is Thursday now. Will Jazz be out playing? Yes, she is. Jazz, I mean this is the nicest possible way, but I'm going to ruin your counting. One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again. Why did you do this, stranger Avak? What a scoundrel you are. Well, Jazz, it's just that, you know, it's tradition at this point. There we go. Ah, oh, okay, I deserved that. I deserved that. The game tricked me into, into reeling in my uh, my line when there was nothing on the end of it. Uh, I deserved that for being a scallywag to jazz. Oh, uh, I haven't even drunk any coffee today. There we go. Right, what have we got? Love another perfect if we may. Oh, I would double love. Oh, I can't afford to take you yet. There we go. Sorry about that. Can't be a perfect because I would not have gotten that treasure if I'd let it be. There we go. Smallmouth bass and oh, some coal and some wood. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Oh. Oh well. Let's see what we can get. Ah. These are good days. No? Yes? Oh, hey, Leah. Come on. Let me show off my fishing prowess. Ah! Again, I blame that on, on being mean to Jazz. I deserve all of this. 
I would have even deserved it. Leo just came up behind me and pushed me in. Ah, no, come here. Oh, scallywags. Not going to be a perfect today. Okay, a new record, though. Hi, Leah. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area, if you know where to look. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. Well, here, a daffodil. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You're welcome. I approve of anyone who thinks of daffodils as really nice gifts. Um... Where do we want to go? Well, there's no point in going to speak with Rasmodius yet. And it's by invite only. So I guess at this point we're heading into town. It's already too late to drop by the um, general store, unfortunately. However, um, we could go down to the beach. At the moment I'm just spending a lot of my time fishing because it's just something I can do when I'm waiting for my first harvest, because I really don't have enough money to do much yet. Come on, you. Come on. Please. Yes. Ooh. Okay, you're a bit of a faster one. Got a little bit more energy. I mean, the, the first burst, though. Okay. Where are you? Yeah, another smallmouth bass. That's fine. Got quite a few of them now. Uh... Anything around? I do not believe so. However, do we have enough wood? We may do. Hmm. I'm not sure. Actually, I was thinking maybe I would be able to pull them from the inventories on my farm, but it doesn't look like I can. Not sure why I had that idea, honestly. Hi, Willy. Mm -hmm. Hey? I would tell you about my thoughts, but it's a fisherman's secret. What are you thinking about a mermaid? It's okay. I won't make fun. I would be thinking about a mermaid as well if I'd seen one. <sighs> Honestly, I'm always at an incredibly high risk of just going silent whenever I fish at the ocean in this game because it's so relaxing. My thoughts just slow down. There we are. And uh, no, come back. There we go. A sardine. Um, yeah, we kind of need to stop eating right now. Uh, let's just get rid of my hole for now. Oh, hey, Elliot. Hello, Abak. Are you well? Um, yes. Uh, do I really not look well? This is starting to worry me. The clouds look great this time of year, don't they? Yeah. Like scoops of vanilla ice cream floating on blue raspberry sauce. Oh, maybe I'm just... Yeah, I, I would honestly say you're just hungry <laughs> As much as I found that quite pretty to imagine, yeah, you, you, you're definitely hungry. We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. I feel so horrible. Uh, why was I trying to check someone else's mail? Hot wanted. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. I'll pay 120 gold to the fisherman who catches three sardines. Good luck. Oof. Got one. I mean, I could probably catch three sardines. That wouldn't be a difficult one for me to do, but... It wouldn't be something I could do today. Let me check. How long was that one? Two days. Okay, I'll go for that. 100 gold. 120 gold, rather. It's no small amount of money, actually. Especially this early on. That would be really, really good for me. Uh, hey, Robin. You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know? You can get pretty lonely up here in the mountains. Aww. I Honestly, I think I would find it quite lovely. Ooh. What's for dinner? Am I invited? Hey, Maru. Apparently, I'm hungry as well. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. How's the farming business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? Yes. I can imagine it being pretty peaceful working outdoors with all the plants all day. Yes, yes, very peaceful indeed. Okay, how many people have I still got to meet? Oh, I've only got one person I have left yet to meet. And that would be Abigail, I'm fairly certain. Odds of me seeing Abigail now fairly slim, unless she's decided to swing by 
the graveyard, which there you know, is always a small chance of. Uh, Linus, I would like to give you a fish. A delicious fish for Linus. Here you go. A gift. How nice. Hmm? Do you want something from me? Uh, no, I was giving you a gift just because I wanted you to be happy. Uh, it, that does sad me, though, that I can't plant fruit trees outside of the farm anymore. Oh, my lord. That, that, that's sad. I love the idea of just leaving this orchard of fruit trees for Linus so that he would always have fresh fruit. Now I can't do that. That's really quite upsetting. All right, the last place we're going to go, we're going to go and check on the graves. Maybe Abigail will be down there. Uh, -dum 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 -dum. Abigail! No. Seems she has gone to bed. Oh, well. It's probably where I should be as well. That is my bed, not her bed. I can already think of the comments before they have even started to come in. Ooh, wiggly worms. Have I got enough energy? I do not. Um, mm, what a waste. But okay. Nom. There we go. I will take you. A bit of copper. I will also take you. Some... Oh. Bleh. Okay, well, I don't need that wood as much as I would like the clay. The clay is significantly less common. Okay, there we go. Some slimes over yonder. Uh, all right, I will place... Uh, let me just go and check on which fish I happen to have. Uh, let's drop every... Oh, no, I don't want to drop that off. Let's drop everything else off, though. I think I have enough to make... Well, I've got enough for the bundle. I don't yet have enough to make an extra pack of seeds. However... Got oh, plenty of you. I've got two sardines. Okay, okay, I like it. I like it. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna sell. I'm not sure if I'll get anything for the fiber, but I've got 108 of it. So, sure, I'll give it a try. Let's drop these off. There we are. And it's off to bed for the night. So we'll see if we made any money. There we go. Go to sleep for the night. Yes, I think so. Level up one for fishing, finally. Fishing rod proficiency has increased. Maybe I'll be able to cast out far enough to catch some of these fishing spots now. Ah, good times. Foraging, fishing. Oh, yeah. Okay, that fiber came in pretty good because that's a lot of money. That's like doubled my money. Excellent news. I am very, very happy with this. Ah. Okay, it should be raining now. Right, well, that's going to be it for now. I'm afraid in the next episode, we will do a little bit more cleaning up of the farm and almost certainly some more fishing. Maybe we'll be able to complete the sardine quest for Willy, but that will be in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like if you liked and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, do take care, everyone.